Welcome to Reach Tips. Today's topic is the ultrasonic cleaner. One thing you want to make sure when you're using an ultrasonic cleaner is never operate it without a lid in place. When they are running, they create a lot of aerosols that can be bad for you. So always use it with a lid in place. Secondly, never use an ultrasonic without a basket. Uh, you don't want to set anything on the tank itself. It can actually wear holes in the tank and once there's a hole in the tank, you can't repair it. So it's, it can cause a lot of damage. So put a basket in place, put your instruments in, put the lid on and select a time, uh, follow the manufacturer's recommendation as far as the time and start. Once it's done, pretty basic is take the instruments out, rinse them off, let them dry, wrap them and whatever the procedure is in your office following that. That's the basic operation. Now maintenance. Maintenance is pretty easy. Is oh also you, when you are running this, you never want to run it without your detergent in the water uh, mixed up. And there's a lot of different manufacturers for that. Follow those recommendations from that manufacturer also. To test it, you should take a piece of aluminum foil, um, just a thin grade, nothing special, no heavy grade, just thin grade. And you want to take the basket out. You want to place a piece of foil diagonally from corner to corner and run it about five minutes would be good. This particular ultrasonic, I already ran it and it'll create holes in here. So what creates the ultrasonic waves are these mechanisms that are glued to the bottom of the tank. And um, you want to make sure there's even either a stippling effect in the aluminum foil or there's actual holes in it. And that'll tell you if it's operating correctly. Never operate it without a little screen in place down where the drain is. You should drain these daily. Each one is different, but there's a manual drain on these to drain all the liquid out. And that's your tip of the day.